The traditional internet has its limits. Dead zones leave us disconnected and reaching remote areas can be a technological challenge. But what if the answer was written in the stars? Today we explore SpaceX's Starlink, a mega constellation of satellites redefining internet access and generating billions for the company. Is it a game changer or is there more to the story? Stay tuned to find out. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, is renowned for its frequent rocket launches, which now largely revolve around deploying its broadband mega constellation called Starlink. This network of satellites aims to provide high-speed internet access worldwide, especially in remote areas where traditional infrastructure is lacking. Starlink is crucial for SpaceX's broader objectives of advancing space exploration, including missions to the Moon and Mars. Since its inception in 2019, Starlink has rapidly grown, boasting over 2 million active users across more than 60 countries. It's been hailed for its ability to connect areas previously underserved, aiding in disaster relief efforts and even offering support during conflicts like the Russia-Ukraine war. However, not everyone is cheering for Starlink. Some critics accuse Musk of meddling in geopolitics, especially concerning conflicts like the one in Ukraine. Additionally, concerns have been raised within the scientific community about the sheer number of satellites in low Earth orbit, potentially disrupting astronomical observations. Despite these criticisms, SpaceX remains determined to expand Starlink's reach. The company sees it as not only a lucrative business venture, but also a key step towards achieving its grander space exploration goals. With approximately 5,000 active satellites currently orbiting Earth, Starlink dominates the satellite scene worldwide. This growth is unprecedented, especially considering that traditional satellite providers typically take a decade to reach a million subscribers whereas Starlink achieved 2 million in just under two years. The global market for satellite services, which includes TV, radio, and broadband internet, was valued at over $92 billion in 2022, and Starlink is poised to capture a significant portion of this market. Unlike older satellite networks, which rely on large stationary satellites in geostationary orbit, Starlink's low Earth orbit, LEO, Constellation offers greater flexibility and capacity. Starlink continually launches new satellites, allowing it to rapidly expand its subscriber base. While initially targeting consumers, Starlink has expanded its services to include enterprise markets like maritime and aviation industries. It's seeing substantial growth in maritime, with commitments from over 4,000 vessels as of the third quarter of 2023. Additionally, SpaceX plans to offer satellite connectivity directly to smartphones, enabling seamless coverage even in remote areas. One big factor driving Starlink's rapid growth is space SpaceX's ability to operate independently. Starlink is vertically integrated, meaning SpaceX handles everything from making its own satellites to launching them and providing the service. This independence streamlines the process and eliminates the need for multiple suppliers or middlemen. Connecting to Starlink is easy. All you need is a small antenna and power source, making it accessible and convenient. Despite its user-friendly setup, creating the equipment wasn't cheap for SpaceX. Initially, production costs for the consumer antenna were high, around $3,000 per unit. SpaceX subsidized this cost significantly, selling the equipment to consumers for $499. Over time, SpaceX has managed to reduce manufacturing costs to under $600 per unit, now charging residential customers $599 for it. Starlink's ease of use has proven invaluable, especially in conflict zones like Ukraine. Starlink provides crucial communication pathways for both civilians and the military, allowing them to stay connected despite disruptions to traditional communication networks. SpaceX started offering Starlink service in Ukraine in response to a request from the country's digital minister. During the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Starlink has remained operational when other communication channels were taken down. It has become a vital backbone for Ukrainian military communications, offering resilience against jamming attempts and the ability to quickly adapt to mitigate disruptions. It has expressed concerns about the potential offensive use of its technology by Ukraine, particularly in coordinating drone strikes. Despite this, Starlink continues to play a critical role in providing communication support in challenging environments. During a conference in Washington, D.C. in February 2023, when Shockwell, the president and CEO of SpaceX, expressed satisfaction in providing connectivity to Ukraine during their struggle for freedom. However, she made it clear that Starlink was never intended to be used as a weapon. This came to light when it was revealed that Elon Musk had declined a request from Ukrainian military officials in September 2022 to activate Starlink service in Crimea for a potential drone attack on a Russian naval fleet. Musk was concerned that such an attack could escalate into a nuclear conflict. The significant influence of Musk and Starlink on geopolitical matters has prompted some countries to invest in their own satellite networks. For instance, the European Union has committed 2.4 billion euros to develop its own satellite constellation by 2027. China is also developing its own low Earth orbit satellite internet network, as it didn't want its citizens using Starlink services. 
Even Taiwan, wary of Musk's ties to China through Tesla, is considering building its own satellite network for national security reasons. In the scientific community, concerns have been raised about the growing number of satellites in orbit. SpaceX plans to launch thousands of Starlink satellites, while competitors like Amazon, Utahsat OneWeb, and Telesat also have similar ambitions. This increase in satellites poses challenges for astronomers as they interfere with observations by reflecting sunlight at night, affecting research and imaging. The light trails of 19 Starlink satellites captured by a telescope meant for observing stars and galaxies illustrate the challenge these satellites pose to astronomers. Even the renowned Hubble Space Telescope has been affected by their presence. While SpaceX has made efforts to address concerns by making design changes to reduce satellite brightness, more needs to be done. One proposed solution is to precisely track the position of each satellite in the sky to help astronomers plan observations and avoid disruptions. Additionally, Satellites transmitting microwaves can interfere with radio astronomy, prompting discussions about turning off transmissions when satellites pass over radio observatories. The proliferation of satellites also raises concerns about space debris and the risk it poses to Earth's orbit and people on the ground. SpaceX's Starlink satellites with a lifespan of about five years contribute significantly to this risk. A report by the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, and the Aerospace Corporation predicts that by 2035, Starlink satellites could account for 85% of the risk of falling space junk, potentially causing injury or damage on Earth. SpaceX disputes these claims, arguing that their satellites burn up completely upon re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. However, concerns persist about the accuracy of data underlying the FAA report. While some experts don't believe stray Starlink debris poses a significant risk, environmental concerns remain. The chemical composition of satellites that return to Earth and burn up in the higher atmosphere hasn't been fully studied, so the impact on the space environment remains uncertain. It's important to thoroughly understand this before we continue to launch large numbers of satellites into low Earth orbit. While Starlink has grown rapidly, sustaining this pace could be challenging. Demand for the service may be reaching a saturation point and Starlink has had to lower the cost of its user terminals to spur further demand. Additionally, SpaceX plans for Starlink's expansion rely heavily on their next-generation rocket, Starship, which has faced delays in development. Competition in the consumer satellite internet market is also increasing. Amazon's Project Kuiper is expected to be a major competitor, with plans to begin beta testing its network by the end of 2024. Like Starlink, Amazon's project involves vertical integration, manufacturing satellites, launching them through Blue Origin, and providing user terminals and services, through its e-commerce platform. Looking ahead, there will likely be more broadband internet systems like Starlink and Project Kuiper. These systems offer flexibility and mobility, which can benefit national security and connect underserved populations, such as those in rural areas lacking reliable connectivity. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Starlink is a revolution or is it just another step in the evolution of internet access? For more in-depth space and tech content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay notified.